Today, let's talk about oil and your pump. Now, what do you think the most important thing you can do to your pump is to make it run for as long as possible? That's right, check the oil regularly. Now, why is oil so important? Well, most of our pumps are made to operate at 1400 RPM. And just like in a car, these kinds of forces generate a great deal of friction and heat. To compensate for this, the interior of these pumps is essentially bathed in oil not unlike a lot of the moving parts in a car engine. This helps to cool and seal the pump. As the rotor spins and generates heat and friction, the oil is used up within the pump and resupplied from the reservoir by way of a small mechanical oil pump located within the reservoir itself. Just like a car, maintaining proper oil levels and checking the oil regularly is the cheapest and easiest thing you can do in any situation to ensure that your pump continues to perform perfectly and to know if anything is wrong with your pump long before it ever occurs. To check the oil levels, use the sight glass view ports on the oil reservoir located at the end of the pump, or use the sight tube on some of our older models. To fill the oil, simply remove the orange cap marked oil on the top of the reservoir and add oil until you see the last sight glass at the top fill up. Here's a list of approved oils you can use on the pump, which is also found in the operation and maintenance manual. It is very important that you only use the approved oils. If your pump is using too much or too little oil, it could indicate a potential problem. To give you an idea of how much oil should be burned, our 250, 370, and 500 models all have an oil capacity of 3.78 liters or one US gallon. And under normal conditions, the oil would be consumed in 16.6 hours of operation. The RCF 870, to compare, has a capacity of 6 litres or 1.59 US gallons and will consume this in roughly 26 hours of operation. We also sell an auxiliary tank kit which holds an additional 6 litres. The flow rate of the oil supply can be adjusted within the oil pump, but this is set by us in the factory and it really should never need to be adjusted in most cases. Sometimes condensation can form within the oil reservoir due to temperature fluctuations. And because water is heavier than oil, this condensation can end up at the bottom of the reservoir, which is where the oil pump draws from. If water is pulled into the oil pump and then freezes, it can cause damage to the small components in the oil pump and stop the oil pump from working. This could critically damage or stop the whole vacuum pump. If you suspect water is present in the oil tank reservoir, it needs to be flushed by draining and cleaning the oil tank with diesel fuel. Check out our other video on how to flush your oil tank for a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this. When operated properly, Fruitland vacuum pumps will run cooler, use less oil, and provide much longer service than any other rotary vane vacuum pump out there, which is why we call it One Tough Pump. <laughs>